Congregation family, today is a special day, okay? Uh -huh. We have T, one of my good friends. She's going to be with us uh, a first, and uh, we have a couple of questions that we want to talk about, uh, get a lady's perspective, you know? Yes. Uh, and we that's need, we always need good. That. Yes, because y'all yes, jump on me and Kane <laughs> all the time. So we have a young lady here. And uh, my question to T is, how do you feel when women say they don't need a man? They are boss, babe, boss chick, but they don't need a man. And T, do you share that same sentiment? Let's go. Gotcha. Okay. Um, okay. So I think that, um, so when people say they don't need a, a man, so once upon a time in my life, um, I remember my ex-husband told me that, you know, oh, cause you, you just don't need anybody. And it's, and my thing was, um, you should be happy that I want you around. See, cause I feel like I need could be fulfilled by any particular person that's standing there. Like if I, if I need a jacket and someone else has one, they can give it to me. But if I need your arm to be around me, then that's different. So to me, I felt like me wanting you around was enough. And for him, he felt like, you know, he needs to be needed. Like, I mean, I'm not a, a damsel in distress type person. So if I see something that needs to be done, I'm going to be like, okay, well, let me go ahead and take care of it. So I think that a lot of times, a lot of women, it's not necessarily that you don't think you need a man. It's literally that you are so accustomed to having to take care of everything yourself that who's going to wait around for a random person to take care of it. Okay. So I don't think it's that, I don't think it's not needing a person. I think it's literally you're adapting to the circumstances that you're already in. So I, I got a question about that. So if you're not, if they, say that they don't necessarily need the assistance of a man the, do that woman uh once they get in that serious relationship with this man do do she rely on or well, can she relinquish those those things that she normally will be doing on her own she normally take care of this take care of that paying the bills whatever right she's normally doing it all but now there's a a, a significant other in their life is it easy? How's that transition when you're transitioning from doing it all alone to hmm. partnership and having the man kind of help give guidance on what needs to be done? So I think I, I think that as long as and as long as the man is a man and he actually, you know, does take on that kind of thing, I think sometimes it may just be about breaking down those walls with a person who is accustomed to having to do everything. If you're accustomed to doing it all yourself, it may not be as as easy. I, I witnessed a couple the other day where um, the man was like, hey, you better not touch that door. Like he was trying to open the door for her and she was going to grab the door. And all I saw when I saw that was a woman who was probably by herself for a while and she's accustomed to opening the door. She's not going to just stand at the door and wait for somebody to open it. Hmm. So I think it's just more about becoming hmm. accustomed to having that person come in. So if you actually have a person that's coming in that's willing to try to break down those walls or be patient enough to be there and actually keep reinforcing like I got you. Because I think most times all, all a person really wants is somebody to be like, hey, I got you. Now see, like for me, I'm going to do what I have to do. But I tell people, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to the day where I can just say, oh, you make the decisions. I have decision fatigue sometimes. So, like, you make the decisions. I'm good on that. You, as yeah. long just, as just what she said right there. Just yeah, what you yeah. just stated right there that I have yeah. met people, ladies, saying the exact same thing. I've been making these decisions for so long. I just want to give it up. And that, that's just a, a good saying. And I'm so glad that you're on here right now because what you just stated, I don't know if it would have been in Kane's mind or my mind, just with opening up the door because you just stated she might have been accustomed 
to doing that for so long. And now she just, just have to rewire. Okay. I do have this person that's used to being chivalrous or whatever, because I always thought, why do ladies, Hey, they look at you strange. I'm opening the door for you. Wow. You people still do that, but she might not have been accustomed because she'd been doing it on her own. So I, I appreciate that right there because I didn't think about it in that aspect. But, 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 but look, even that, that scenario you just mentioned. So mm -hmm. let's say for instance, you're uh, and not, this is to Mitch. Let's say for instance, you're going into a building and, and another guy open or holds the door open or open the door and say, hey, man, go ahead. You're accustomed to doing it yourself. Well, right? okay, you know, usually thank you for that question you know but i, I know I <laughs> i'm just saying you know, it you're usually Kane accustomed to do yeah. it hey yeah you're usually doing it yourself and but now usually you, what you gonna fight over who gonna go in no first? no Kane. We, we, we're not talking about it in that aspect but i mean that's a good question but sometimes you know you will figure out Kane wants to be the devil advocate all the time so he can say whatever he wants I always try to find something. yeah I try but to find. guys usually don't hold the door open for each other but they do sometimes it doesn't matter hey bro i got you all right that's what's up. That's it. We keep on moving. That's it. That's different than when we're with a lady. And now what's, what's wild about it is our young women not even being accustomed to these things because people don't do it anymore. And Kane, we've talked about it. And maybe, T, you have seen it when you just go to the gas station and you will see the the girl pumping the gas and the guy sitting in the passenger oh, seat and just problem. chilling. Mm -hmm. To me, that, that is a problem, man. Just get out and do that. But, you know, if we allow what goes on in our situation, in our personal lives, and if you haven't been taught those things, and then we always say, you know, we are equal. We're separate but equal, and we want to do the same things, but it's okay to allow a man to do these things that, men do or to take the burden out just because t if you didn't have a a, a partner a husband whatever and then we i entered the or anybody entered the relationship with you hey i see the trash fool i'm gonna take out you don't have to do those things you don't have to do those things like that anymore so that's all i'm saying right there in that aspect uh so well well I, and I, like I said, I get it. I would look at it as how easy, and I, I'm just talk, kind of talking about it again. How easy it is to transition to that 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 mind state of yeah. letting the man and do t do. Would you uh, cherry pick the things that you want that significant other to do, <laughs> or would you just let him just actually? make that decision do you be like i won't i'll do that oh no you can't be in charge of that but uh you can take that i don't want to do that anymore do you cherry pick it or do you just hey you let us know guide me so i i think i think it could go it can go either way and i think that um i mean full disclosure i think i i have been guilty of cherry picking certain things and it could be because you know it's like hey um you know this is a thing that i've been in i've been accustomed to doing for so very long mm -hmm. and now here you come but my thing is if you if you show yourself to be i'm not trying to be funny but if you show yourself to be worthy of being the person that is leading the situation then yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, I have no problem relinquishing that because, again, um, decision fatigue is real. Like, it's like hmm. if I could just if I could just take a couple of months off where I'm like, OK, you, I, hey, I will cook it. But you just tell me what you want us to have for dinner. So let me go ahead and because yeah. I don't even want to decide that sometimes. Yeah. So sometimes it, it literally would just depend on the situation. So I can't say. I mean, I, I can see what you're saying about the, you know, hey, you could be in charge of this, but not that. And that, that is mis, that's, that's misleading. Mm -hmm. And so if you say, hey, I want you to be in charge of all the things, you're like, ooh, everything but that. Yeah. Um, I can <laughs> see what that will happen. Yeah. But that, I mean, truthfully speaking, that happens even with, like, let's think about it even from a spiritual aspect, okay. right? Um, say, okay, all right, God, I'm going to give you all these things, but like, ooh, everything but that. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it happens. So yeah. it's not just just even in a relational type of situation, it could be in a spiritual situation. Yeah, like, hey, yeah. uh, I'm going to give you all of me. 
except that one part right there, I got to keep that. See. So I think sometimes, and again, it's still about the breaking down of the walls. Mm-hmm. So like if there is a person who is who has the tenacity to just keep going at it, and sometimes, and I'm going to say this, I feel like what ends up happening is that people, um, sometimes they don't want to put in the work. Mm. Relationships are Uh-oh, fun. uh-oh, you said something. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. Because I, I know where this conversation is going, and I'm loving it right now because I know Kane's mind. Okay, now his juices started bubbling right there when you said it's work. Kane's thought pattern is, congregation, y'all been aware, We've talked about it in the past. Yeah, it's not work. It shouldn't be work. Oh. Yeah, okay. I say it's and, work. And I, so I want both of y'all to explain yourselves on that. Oh, I, I'll, I'll explain. So I say it's it's uh, it shouldn't be work because you should find that that mesh with that significant other. Like if you're working to try to change a person to fit a mold, it's not going to happen. We talked about this earlier, Mitch. It's not going to happen. You can't fix everybody's issue. Mm-hmm. If you have an issue with them in a certain aspect, you, there's no way to fix them. If they're unhappy all the time, mm-hmm. there's no way to make them happy all the time. That's a roller coaster ride right there. That you, you're never, you may get them happy one day, but the next day they're sad again. So you just, it, it's a hamster wheel. You never get that. So that's why I was saying, like, if if that mesh is there, then you, yeah, I, there's no work because it, it, it all comes together. But if you're working to to be on a certain level or uh, um, you shouldn't work on a relationship, maybe work on yourself if you want to look at it like that. I can work on myself. Just like you said, you need to relinquish some of those duties. I work on myself so I can be that that wife or that significant other in the relationship versus uh, get him to uh, to come over to my side or whatever, right? So that's yeah. how I would think. What, what do you say to you? What's up? Okay, so when I say when I say work, um, again, I think that I get what you're saying. I don't think it should be drudgery. I don't think it should be something where it's like, okay, if we're all if we're always at odds and we never agree, mm-hmm. then you know, uh, you know, two that don't agree can't walk together, mm. right? So I, I, if we, <laughs> yeah. mm, I like that. Say that one more time. Two that don't agree, <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, we can't walk together. We're not going to be together long. And so I'm not saying that it should be drudgery or that it should be something that is just like we're bumping heads constantly. Mm -hmm. But it is work. Um, I think sometimes it's sometimes it's work just dealing with yourself. Mm -hmm. But so if you're you are a person, if you're trying to become one, one unit, one mind, one one direction, you know, one set of, you know, values or core values or whatever, those things are already in you. Yes. But if you're trying to align yourself with another person so that the two can walk together, then it, it can be work because you got to think about it. Like, I don't know, like the length of time you've been just by yourself, but coming together with another person can be work. Now, that doesn't mean work. All work is not bad. Like mm-hmm. all work is not bad. Um, you actually doing some things and, you know, work can be for the betterment of you, for the betterment of the situation or whatever. It doesn't have to be bad. It can be fun. Um, have you ever worked out with somebody and it actually made it more fun because you were working out with them? Mm-hmm. I just feel like work doesn't have to be drudgery, yeah. but it is still work to 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 be able to get along with another person because they have their they came with their own set of values, their mm-hmm. own beliefs, and you're bringing in your set of values and your beliefs and that kind of thing, and you guys are meshing those things together, and that still is considered working it out i like that mind. take i like working out together can be fun okay true true i, I i'm not i ain't I say like nothing negative. that take Thank nothing you too. negative about it nothing negative about it i like it I, you know and, and it can go a, a number of different ways but yeah it don't have to be negative because you know people usually connotate you know work with something negative right something negative like oh man i got I like what i do i like working i mean you know what i'm saying so i enjoy my work yeah, so yeah. i could still enjoy working to make make a relationship work yeah. now again there comes a point when in my like there comes a point when if i am trying to make something work and you're trying to like we're not gonna force a fit yes because mm-hmm. you know i i tell people yeah. i'm don't force me. I'm not forcing anything. Yeah. I'm not even forcing jeans up. I just got another pair. <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, this, hey this, this no, come on. What the, what? There's no reason to force anything. Yeah. You know yes. what I'm saying? Just, 
things happen. But mm-hmm. again, you still have to work at because think, think about all the people. I guarantee you, if you talk to some people who have been married any length of time, they will tell you that it took some kind of work and some effort on each part. So maybe, maybe instead of using the word work, I would say effort. Mm-hmm. It took some kind of effort on both their parts in order to keep that thing together. Mm-hmm. So maybe if you if you don't like the word work, we use that. You know what? <laughs> Thank you. See, this is what's beautiful. And I have to step in. Congregation, you know, Cain don't like that word work in a relationship. And T, it took T, I don't know, 8,000 hours for to come to this conclusion, effort. So, Cain, can we sway you now to that side? That is going to take some effort, effort in a relationship. Thank you. But but the both parties, look, look, both parties have to put in their both effort parties. to be able to manage that relationship on their, because like I said, you can't change another person, but you can definitely work on uh, changing yourself I, and adapting. I absolutely agree with that. Like, I don't, I don't think you should try to change. And, and that's the other part. Like I'll have, um, like I've, I've had friends that morph into someone completely yeah, different see, no. into a relationship. No, no. And my thing is, is that if, if you, if you were attracted to me and you fall for me and, and we start a relationship, you were attracted to me, not the, not the you in me. If you were attracted to the you and me, like you want to turn me into you in order for you to be like that, that's something different. Yeah. And so what I find is some some women, they try to like on the flip side of what you're saying about women saying they don't need a man is the other side where they feel like they need to change themselves into somebody else to actually be connected to a person. Yeah. And so then that might make you say, oh, I don't need anybody. You know, no, it's not that you don't need anybody. It's literally yeah. that you need to be you. Yeah. When you when when you meet me, I'm me. Yeah. So when we're in a relationship, I'm still me. Yeah. And if if me is not who you wanted, then you know, like I said, not forcing anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. And that's how that's how the relationship builds and grows through that. Go, go ahead. I'm I'm loving this right here, and I have maybe two more questions because I think I know what came. Mine is trying to lead us right now. <laughs> Hey, but I'm going to have to on, pause. Come on, Psychic Mitch. Yes. Psychic Mitch, what are yes. you talking about? Oh, pause but let, let, let me, I want you to pause the conversation for one second. Look, look. In relationships right now, T, now I'm talking about a, a married couple because I'm not talking about uh, a boyfriend, girlfriend, or, or people that stay in the same house for months, years. Do you have a problem? when it comes to a man and a woman that's married and the word submission comes up what does that mean to you um okay do i have a problem okay so i i don't have a problem with the word submission i think that a lot of women have a problem with the word submission because of who they're submitted to i think that that's that literally it it all goes back to who you're submitting yourself to, right? So if if I'm submitting, I'm not going to submit myself to somebody who is not, um, I'm not going to submit myself to a fool. So if you are doing foolish things, then it would be foolish of me to be like submitted to that, right? But if you're actually, if you are leading the family and you're actually, you know, you're you are doing things for the betterment of both of us, then I don't have a problem with submission. I don't think that that's, I don't think that's a bad word. I think that it has become a bad word. It has negative connotations because it, I think that some men think that submission means I'm going to boss you around and tell you what to do. And some women think that it means that I'm going to allow him to talk to me like he's my father. I don't think it means that. I think, honestly, I think um, with, submitting to a person that person that that's a big responsibility to have somebody submitting to you right so like if your children submit to you it's a big responsibility for you to be parenting those kids right so it's a responsibility to have a person who is supposed to be submitting to you so if you are if you're using and wielding that power um 
responsibly. I don't have a problem with that. Now, I do have a problem with if you're not doing any of the things that you're supposed to do and you expect me to do all of the things that you think I'm supposed to do, then that's where the problem comes in. So outside of that, I don't think I don't think submission is a bad word. I really don't. Not to. Uh, so just a follow up with uh, a follow up question. So uh, do you guys sit down and determine gender roles with that? I, Submission? I don't think so. I, I mean, OK, so. Uh, OK, I would say that and then I'm about to say something else. So <laughs> I, I, like, here's the deal. OK, so I'm going to need you to kill all the things, all the things that are anything that comes into the house. <laughs> um, hey. I need you to kill all the, kill the creepy crawlers. Yeah, any, any creepy okay. crawler that comes into the house, I need you to kill it. Um, you know, I don't have a problem taking out the garbage. I, I don't need you to have a problem. With no, clothes. What? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, there, yeah. So to me, I don't think there's specific gender roles. I think there are certain things that and maybe, yes, to answer your question, yes, maybe it is a discussion. And I will go ahead and discuss mm -hmm. that. I need you to kill okay. all the things that crawl. Mm -hmm. Now, if there are things mm -hmm. that are walking around on two legs, you know, we, we both go to the range, so it's all good. But things that are crawling, mm -hmm. that might be a problem. So, yeah, I expect mm -hmm. you to kill the things. Um, I, be that protective. Right, right. Okay. Um, I, mm -hmm. I expect you to, now here's the deal. You don't have the motographs. But you have to get somebody else to do it. See, there's things that crawl around out there. So therefore, remember, we talked about the crawly thing. So, yeah, those are the mm -hmm. expectations. Mm -hmm. All Anything that takes place outside to, to clean up that, yeah. that. So maybe, mm -hmm. yes, we do need to have the discussion. About have a particular. conversation. Just so you, yeah, so okay, just so you, everybody will, will know what, you know, it, the expectations right. and things of that But nature. I don't want you to say and because you, I told you to kill the bugs. I gotta always wash the dishes. I mean, like, okay, we if we're both in here. I'm just saying. You know. Uh oh, hey, hold on. She she pulling back now. Hold but up. But look, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, <laughs> what I'm taking from both of you guys on this one is communication is always Absolutely. the biggest and number one thing. Absolutely. In the relationship. And communication, communication. takes what? Effort. Ooh, hey, let's go. We can wrap it up. Yeah. You heard it first. T came and laid it down. Okay. Let's go. First. Let's go. Hey, look, congregation, congregation. So I know we talked about a few little things and uh we kind of um and, and our special guest T, she kind of gave her insight from a female perspective, but how do you feel about her answers? Mm. Was she spot on? Come on. Was she spot on? Did she did she really um let you know about submission and gender roles and 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 you know just being being in relationships and how to maneuver through them you know through adversity and things of that nature so how you know did she did she do it uh did we even challenge her uh whatever i don't know well let us let us know how you feel about this and um we'll we'll respond and we'll you know hit you in the, um in the comments and everything and also, T, uh, she'll have her little information in the uh, description too, as well. And if you know, if she wants to have any, you know, DMs or anything through Instagram or Facebook or anything like that, uh, we'll have that information too. Um, what else you got for him, Mitch? No, I think this was just wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them. Yeah. I think y'all, yeah. I don't know, she might be a Canaan knight on that conservative <laughs> role. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, wow. But it's okay. Let's go. Wow, that's what it's about. Oh, wow. Talking. <laughs> Talking. Hey, tonight. That's what they yeah, that's conservative, you know. I like conservative yeah. and liberal views. I'm all over. So Yeah. yeah all it all depends on what it is. Good. We have fun, gotcha, people. Gotcha. That's what it's about. Oh. Any final words, T, for the for the congregation? I, you know what? Thank you for having me. Um mm -hmm. I again, hopefully something that we said provokes some thoughts and maybe change some views. Um, you know, relationships our effort um they don't have to mm. be drudgery so they can be yeah. worth the work but work doesn't have to be hard it can be fun that's it. Yeah. for sure for sure hey look and that's the uncomfortable truth hey baby do something roger that let's <laughs> go
you know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 